So can you let's talk a little bit more about the the basics of mining, like what what actually is happening when you when you're mining. So maybe we can start off with uh, with what is a, a job, a mining job. What's a mining job? Oof. <laughs> Okay, and how detailed do you need that explained? <laughs> let's just start with like a basic, a uh, basic overview. Uh, so, so, so uh, okay, very basic overview. Um, well, I can, I can try to explain it like I would explain it to my son. <laughs> it's like five or six. Yep. That years. would be great. That would be the I best know, explanation. He, he's soon turned seven, so. Um, well, if I'm, I'm going to explain to him what, what is a, the job that needs to be done, uh, consider you've got a, a room full of Lego bricks, yeah? And, um, and I'm kind of building small robots that have the property they are resorting those bricks. But unfortunately, those robots only got uh, kind of one function, yeah? They are always doing exactly the same order of operations in that room. So what is mining doing is, is kind of you throw in a bunch of Lego bricks, let this robot operate and have a look, okay, wh what's the result of it? And our goal is uh, to, to find a, a kind of initial configuration for the room, uh, having it all sorted to one side and the other side is completely cleaned up. Unfortunately, you really, really, really need to uh, test a lot of configurations. So uh, in that sense, uh, yeah, I'm kind of the, the robot builder and the miners are those uh, providing the rooms and uh, trying to have as much rooms as anyhow possible. <laughs> so they can uh, test a lot of configurations and let the robot do his work. So and, uh, this is pretty similar to what, what mining is. Yeah, you're testing a lot of nonsense uh, to find a valid block header um, with the, the property of uh, having um, yeah, a low, low or no other way around, a high difficulty. So uh, all the bits in the result, um, well, need to give a, a large number that is low enough in the end. 